as the electric vehicle EV market continues its explosive growth, dominated by fierce competition from both emerging Chinese automakers and long-established global brands. Tesla is quietly preparing what could be its most transformative product, yet an affordable EV model that could drastically reshape the automotive landscape. Although there has been no official announcement from Tesla itself, multiple industry insiders and leaks suggest that this new vehicle and officially dubbed, the Model 2 is now in the final stages of development. Enthusiasts and analysts alike believe it could be revealed at virtually any moment. The buzz around this vehicle is not just speculative. The reason it commands such attention is because it represents something. Tesla has never truly offered an EV priced for the masses, with an expected starting cost of around $25,000. The Model 2 promises to open the doors of EV ownership to millions of people who have previously been priced out of the market. The significance of the Model 2 goes far beyond affordability. It could be a strategic pivot point, a move to democratize electric mobility while defending Tesla's dominance in a market, rapidly being flooded by lower-cost competitors from China like BYD, Xpeng, and NIO. For years, Tesla has enjoyed a lead in innovation, branding, and performance, but that lead has steadily eroded as other automakers close the technology gap. Entering the affordable EV segment is no longer a growth strategy, it's a necessary counter-strike to maintain market share. It's worth noting, however, that anyone expecting the Model 2 to feature a radically new or futuristic design might want to temper their expectations. The Model 2 is almost certain to borrow heavily from existing Tesla models such as the Model 3 and Model Y. This isn't a creative failure, but rather a smart decision rooted in manufacturing efficiency and cost reduction. Building a completely new car platform from the ground up is not only incredibly expensive, but also significantly lengthens time to market. Instead, Tesla is expected to leverage its existing production lines, reuse proven interior components, and incorporate battery technologies it has spent years refining. This platform-sharing strategy, employed by industry giants like Toyota and Volkswagen, allows Tesla to minimize development costs while maximizing production scalability. It also gives buyers the benefit of a better product at a lower price, since they're getting technology that's already been optimized over time. In a market saturated with high-performance, luxury, EVs, and flashy tech gimmicks, the Model 2 aims to deliver something different, simplicity, practicality, and value. That's not to say it will be underwhelming. On the contrary, Tesla fans still expect it to offer the brand's signature characteristics strong acceleration, minimalist aesthetics, advanced driver assistance features, and a best-in-class software experience. Even with the low price tag, the Model 2 will still very much be a Tesla. That said, compromises will be made to hit the aggressive price point. Buyers should expect a more stripped-down interior, basic trim options, and fewer premium features. The driving range might also be less impressive compared to Tesla's flagship models. However, with the starting price around $25,000, these trade-offs are unlikely to be deal-breakers for most buyers. In fact, they may be exactly what the mainstream market is looking for, an electric car that does everything essential, and nothing more, at a price people can actually afford. Elon Musk has been teasing the idea of an affordable Tesla for years, and the Model 2 appears to be the realization of that vision. Internally, it's expected to be a compact hatchback smaller, lighter, and more agile than the Model 3. Early estimates place the vehicle's length at under 157 inches, making it roughly 15% shorter and 30% lighter than its larger sibling. This compact size positions it perfectly for urban environments. Imagine a futuristic EV that fits neatly into tight parking spaces and navigates city traffic with ease, yet still provides enough room for a small family or a pair of roommates. In terms of styling, Tesla is forgoing flashy elements like alloy, wheels and opting for 17-inch steel rims. There will be no double-pane acoustic glass, no metallic finishes, and only a limited palette of basic paint colors. But these removals are strategic, they shave costs where it counts without affecting what Tesla considers its core values – efficiency, connectivity, and overall driving performance. Design-wise, the Model 2 will still carry the unmistakable Tesla. DNA expect to see features like the slim LED headlight bar, already seen on the Cybertruck and Model Y, giving it a futuristic edge despite its modest price. Inside the cabin, Tesla's commitment to minimalism continues. The interior is expected to seat five passengers comfortably, but it won't come with high-end features like leather upholstery, panoramic sunroofs, or ambient lighting. Instead, seats will be made from durable fabric, and the sound system will feature just seven speakers instead of the 13 found in the Model Y. While some buyers might find the cabin too basic, the design is entirely intentional. Everything that's been removed or simplified was done so to reduce costs and maximize accessibility. Tesla is not trying to cater to luxury buyers here. 
The Model 2 is designed for the millions of people who need reliable transportation, not bells and whistles. The iconic central touchscreen a hallmark of Tesla's design, philosophy will still be present, though likely smaller than in the more expensive models. It will continue to control every aspect of the car, from climate settings to navigation and entertainment. Tesla's software ecosystem remains one of its greatest strengths, and even in this budget-friendly model, it's expected to run smoothly. And intuitively, when it comes to performance, the Model 2 won't blow anyone away with plaid-like acceleration. But for city driving and daily commutes, it should be more than capable. It's expected to use a single rear-wheel drive motor, delivering a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of around 7 seconds and a top speed near 112 miles per hour. Compared to similarly priced gas-powered vehicles like the Toyota Corolla or Hyundai Kona, the Model 2 will still offer superior smoothness, torque, and energy efficiency. Dot range, of course, is a major concern for EV buyers, while high-end, Tesla models easily exceed 300 miles on a single charge. The Model 2 will likely use a smaller 40 to 50 kWh battery pack, providing an estimated range between 200 and 250 miles under optimal conditions. That's more than sufficient. For most people's daily driving needs, one key factor in hitting these costs and range targets is Tesla's decision to use lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries. These are currently the most affordable and stable battery chemistry available, costing roughly $55 per kWh thanks to Tesla's domestic LFP battery plant in Nevada. The company no longer depends solely on Chinese imports an enormous strategic advantage. LFP batteries also last longer, are more fire resistant, and handle fast charging better than traditional lithium ion alternatives with a projected 53 kilowatt hours pack costing just $3,000. Tesla can offer respectable range without sacrificing safety or durability. Charging performance will also be impressive. The Model 2 is expected to retain Tesla's 400 volt architecture, allowing it to go from 0 to 80% in about 25 minutes using V4. Superchargers that push up to 250 kilowatts. That kind of speed is unheard of in the budget EV segment and gives Tesla yet another leg up on rivals like the Chevy Bolt and Nissan Leaf, while the Model 2 won't have a long-range variant at launch, likely to keep it below the psychological $25,000 bare. Dynamic design and lightweight construction will still deliver more than enough range for daily use. And yes, it will support Tesla's full self-driving FSD package, though it won't be included by default. Every Tesla built since 2019 includes the necessary hardware, and the Model 2 will be no different. However, buyers will need to pay an additional $8,000 up front or subscribe monthly to unlock those features, allowing for future upgrades without inflating the base cost. Even more compelling is the potential for Model 2 to be integrated into Tesla's future robotaxi network. Owners could, in theory, use their vehicles as part of a self-driving fleet, turning a depreciating asset into a passive income source. This is a long-term bet but one that could change how we think about car ownership entirely. Tesla is positioning the model to not just as an EV but as an intelligent platform with future-proof potential. On the production side, Tesla is playing it smart by avoiding the cost of building an entirely new factory. Instead, it's retooling existing Model 3 and Model Y lines in Fremont and Giga Shanghai. Model 2 prototypes have already been spotted around the Fremont factory, and the site's advanced Gigapress technology, which allows Tesla to cast entire vehicle sections in one go will be critical to keeping costs low and production volumes high. The new Gigapress, even more powerful than the 6,000-ton machine used for the Model Y, can produce complex structural parts with fewer errors and reduced labor. Of course, affordability hinges not just on manufacturing but also on government incentives. Tesla is counting on the $7,500 US federal tax credit to bring the Model 2's real-world price down to the magic number. Without it, the vehicle's pricing edge could disappear. And with the future of that tax credit tied closely to political leadership and policy decisions, the situation remains precarious. If incentives expire or are rolled back, Tesla may be forced to raise prices or cut features, both risky moves that could harm competitiveness.